You know what? This is the first time I've been rubbing. I don't usually rub. I'm I don't usually approve, rub. Hmm? But I'm gonna let you do your thing. Agli oli oli. Agli oli Cancel her, please. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Taz Buds. Here to introduce you to my gorgeous friends I've made in Korea, sharing food, stories and culture. My first guest, she's a country bumpkin residing in Seoul. She can knock you out in the ring. And she also thinks British people are very loud. Let's talk to her about that. Please welcome my new guest. I was supposed to come in. Hi. Are you gonna leave me hanging? Jesus. Hi, dear. It feels awkward now. I don't want it. <laughs> it feels forced. It does feel forced. Hi. 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 I know. Welcome to the show. I'm so happy to be here. Thank you for having me. Thank you for coming. I'm so happy you said yes. <laughs> so, as you know, my guest has to be. <laughs> I'm just looking at you. <laughs> Am I funny to you? Am I a clown? As you know, my guests have to bring in two mystery ingredients that I know nothing about. So please, can you show us what you bought in today? Of course. So first thing, mm. one of my favorite fruits. Okay. I had to bring it, mm -hmm. blueberries. Blueberries, frozen blueberries too. Frozen in particular. Then second, I have some ground cinnamon. I love cinnamon. So adding cinnamon to any dish, I think gives it a little bit of pop. So mm. wanted to test your skills with these okay. two beautiful products. Cause yeah, you can use cinnamon in sweet dishes and savory dishes. So obviously we're gonna try some fusion food. Let's have a little think about what we're gonna make. Ready? Cue thinking montage. Okay guys, we've decided what to cook. So as we're trying fusion food, this series, we're going to make hot dog pancakes Ooh. with blueberry syrup. So hot dog is a staple, kind of a winter food, isn't it, yeah. in Korea? Uh, basically pancake style filled with brown sugar and nuts and cinnamon and honey, etc. And what we're gonna do is twist that a little bit and make it into pancake version. And then we're gonna make a lovely blueberry syrup too. Amazing. Then let's get all the ingredients ready and then we can start cooking. We have everything ready and prepped to go. So what we'll do is let's make the blueberry jam first. Okay. Blue blueberry jam syrup compote mixture is super easy. It's really, really easy recipe. Mm. So what we'll do is if you open the bag up. Of course. The blueberry syrup is going to be a really easy mixture of blueberries, lemon juice and sugar. Okay. Super easy. Okay, pop some blueberries into there. Okay. So I have a question for you. Yeah. When you're cooking, are you the eyeball type? Like eyeballing the measurements or do you do precise eyeball? Yeah. It's I I more. usually eyeball uh yeah, yeah, more. yeah. Okay. more more more. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep Sorry, going. I asked you a question and then I was keep like <laughs> It's okay. Uh stop. Okay. Yeah, that'll be enough. The answer, please. I eyeball things. Usually, mm. but if it needs, if it requires a recipe, then I will just refine it and then do the measurements for people who want to cook the recipe. Okay, so blueberries are in there. Mm. If you can grab a cup of water. A cup of water. I'll grab a cup. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. The reason I asked is, I think, because you, you are a chef, yeah. so it, I think it's easier for you to eyeball versus yeah. someone like me who maybe doesn't feel as comfortable in the mm. kitchen. Okay. So okay. It, I think it's always interesting to know. What do you cook at home then, usually? Um, well, if I'm cooking, it's usually some sort of pasta okay. dish or rice dish. I do tend to use my air fryer a lot. That is the love of my life currently. Your air so, fryer? Yeah, making chicken, making... It's healthy as well. It's very... Mm, well, I put grease in mine, so. <laughs> <laughs> I put lemon juice in here. <laughs> I saw it and you eyeballed it. Yeah, I eyeballed it. Basically, uh, in How many terms squirts? Of you didn't count your squirts, did you? Three long ones. Three long squirts, okay. Mm. Three long ones is about two tablespoons. You wanna hear a joke? Let me, brown sugar. <laughs> one, uh, full, one full spoon. One full spoon of brown sugar goes into here. That is a lot of brown sugar though. It's not. Okay. It will condense down, it will make a fruity delicious jam. I trust you. <laughs> I'm gonna add a little bit more actually, just a half. So you know how hot dog is, the filling is sugar, nuts and stuff. Yeah. We're just gonna combine it all into the pancake mixture. Oh. Pop about half of this mixture into the flour. Okay. So I've got some plain flour and some baking powder. Obviously you can just use self-raising flour, but I didn't actually find any self-raising flour. So if you grab that whisk and just... Are you still doing 
seen your boxing. I've been seeing you do your boxing stuff for a while. Yeah, it's, it's been a tough, a tough decision I had to make because <gasps> fitness is a part of my self-care. Oh. But just with everything that I have going on and the end of the year coming, I had to make both financial sacrifices mm. and like time sacrifices. So right. um, I had to put boxing on the back burner for now. Okay. Is this something you want to revisit in the future? It is absolutely something I want to revisit, but I've been having a lot of conversations with myself about priorities. And if I want um, things to happen, I have to do what I need to do to get them there. So yeah. I had to sacrifice boxing, but in exchange, I do a lot more walking outside because okay. this is my favorite time of the year yeah like same. fall slash autumn wherever you are in the world we say it differently but i'm glad you said autumn fall is <laughs> it's my favorite time so i do tend to walk home from school or like just walk outside more than i do in the summer because yeah. i i hate summer okay so what have we done okay if we need to this is going to be the pancake mixture now so okay. just make the little well here go on, let's see how she cracks her eggs Ooh, nicely done. Thanks. Very nice. <laughs> and also, you can tell the quality of an egg or the freshest egg is when the white is still kind of gelatinous and solid. When the white becomes runny and like, you know when you open it and it kind of, it's more watery, that's when it's an older egg. It's still okay, it's still edible, oh. but, but yeah, that is how you can tell it's a fresh egg when it's still together. That's cool. Yeah. I'm finally learning things from you. Okay, next. Yes. A uh, teaspoon of cinnamon, please, into there. All right. So I'm, I'm putting this in here. Oh shit, not that much. Oh my God, like literally half, half of... I don't know, look, I need a measuring spoon. We I don't would die I, if you put in that much. I mean, it'd be a good time. We'd go out in a good way. How about that? Yeah, that's about good. Are you sure? Yeah, we want it. <laughs> You're so aggressive. <laughs> put in the nuts. All of them. Yeah, so here we have a mixture of, so in hot dog traditionally, there's a mixture of uh, nuts, cinnamon, honey, but we're not using honey because we're going to have blueberry Aww. jam to pour on top. You don't need it, it's just extra sugar. <sighs> Do you want it? Should no. Have some? No, she don't. Fine. <laughs> Sunflower seeds and mm. almonds into here. So we're just going to... Did you wash <laughs> your hands? Of course. I'm going to sprinkle it. You don't need to sprinkle it, but... Can you pour the milk very slowly? Very slowly. Yeah. Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> this is what you call art, guys. So the blueberry uh, is reducing down. So can you see it's getting a little bit thicker now? Yeah. And that's getting into a really nice paste. And look at the color. The it's color very is rich stunning. Now. Yeah. So it's not going to be a really thick jam because you need a lot more ingredients for that. It's going to be more like a like a more watery, syrupy, watery kind of texture. Okay. So we can actually. Make the pancakes now, you okay, ready? Okay, I am ready. When so, you, butter? Butter, yeah. Butter. So, stick of butter. How do you say butter? Butter. 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 Cancel her, please. <laughs> She's making fun of us now, butter. friends. <laughs> so, let's turn this on. Oh, you like to, you're a rubber. You know what, this is the first time I've been rubbing. I don't usually rub. I'm I don't usually approve, hmm? but I'm gonna let you do your thing. I'm gonna, I'm this gonna. This is very unhygienic. Huh? This is very unhygienic. What? We're going to use the whole like, thing. Never mind, proceed. <laughs> My mom does it sometimes. She'll like do the rubbing and then she'll close the butter back up and put it in the fridge. And I'm like, no, 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 no. If you're going to, if you're going to do this, you have to use the whole thing. Or if you are going to put it away, you have to cut the end off at yeah. least and then put it away. That's I'll okay. Cut her. I'll like time. Yeah. That's Slice okay. that thing. I don't know about you, but when I make pancakes, the first one is always a little bit of an experiment. I always mm. burn it or like it just, it looks oblong. Yeah. Shape. It's just not a great There's something shape. wrong with that one. Mm. Yeah. So okay, we put some mixture there into okay. the butter. This, huh? what, you're telling me to put mixture? No, 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 we put some okay. mixture, yeah. yeah. Sorry, my British accent doesn't fully come through sometimes. That wasn't British, that was just on you, no? Put that yeah, on the that, people. That was just me. <laughs> That's just me being hungry and tired. Aww. I was at my friend's birthday party last night, but I didn't stay out late. I, came, I got home by like midnight. You are a social butterfly these days. <sighs> There's a lot of stuff happening lately. It makes me excited for you, but also like when I watch your stuff, I get tired. <laughs> What do like, you mean? I get secondhand exhaustion from you because you're just you're everywhere at the same time. Yeah, it's you quite know, frustrating. You know, um, Hermione and her t uh, Time Turner watch. Yeah, that's literally me. I actually go back in time, have to go to all these other events. But oh, so mm. it's bubbling now. So mm -hmm. when the edges start to bubble and you can see holes appearing like this on the pancakes, that means that side is almost done. You can flip it over. Okay. So you can see little holes that way. It's the most easiest way to time your pancakes. Is there anything you miss from back home, food-wise? Uh, I do miss a lot of soul food. Okay, so... What do you define as soul food? 
uh, the extremely greasy, like home cooked meal, similar to this, like where you're eyeballing the ingredients, but um, around this time of year, we have American Thanksgiving. Oh yeah, of so, course. So of course, every family makes their own dishes, mm. but at our house, we make like the fried turkey, also the- Fried turkey? Fried turkey. How and do you and fry it's like a, a big, big ass turkey. We have these giant pots that are like this big, like this wide. And you fry you a turkey? Literally, you, we stuff the turkey with stuff and then you drop it into the fryer and like it gets crispy and delicious. What? Do you cook any soul food um, in your kitchen or it's just, it's not possible? Um, I'll be careful. <laughs> uh, I tend nice. to, if, if I am cooking, it's usually gonna be pasta. Yeah. Um, what do you have with your pasta though? Do you just have plain boiled pasta? No! What kind of mozzarella? Well, that's not. Really I mean, it's not, it won't surprise me, I'm just saying. Continue. So I am a cream pasta lover. Ooh, okay. Yeah, so I like to make Alfredo's, um, but these days I've been really into like the olio, olio style, so like oil pastas. Oh, the ugly olio, olio. Ugly olio. Um, <laughs> Try to say that when you're drunk. <laughs> Ugly oli oli. Ugly oli Also, check out this blueberry jam. Look at that. Wow, that's thick. Yeah, so it's turned really thick because of that brown sugar. And that is gonna, it's just gonna cool down. It's gonna be a little bit warm when we have it because we don't have time to wait for it to cool down. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's gonna so be- So it's preferred for it to be a little bit more chilled? Yeah, a bit more chilled. Because okay. hot sugar and fruit is gonna burn, burn your mouth, so. Thanks. Yeah, just be careful. Who needs taste buds? <laughs> no, taz buds we need taz, taz buds. buds. We don't need taste buds, we need taz buds. Oh, that could be my new catchphrase. Guys, I'm actually thinking of a new catchphrase. Can you comment down below which something? Um, okay, so jam is ready. We're just gonna cook up some more pancakes. Yeah. Um, and then we're gonna taste test everything. Sweet. Sweet. Look at our little stack of pancakes. Ooh, little stack. Cute. So the mixture uh, that we made makes about five to six pancakes, depending on how big they are. So yeah, we've got a little stack of cinnamon hot tuck pancakes, and we have our gorgeous, gorgeous blueberry jam. Best way to eat it, obviously, we're gonna put the blueberry right on top. And then just garnish it with a sprig of mint. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> Pretty good. I'll dig in. Hmm. I'll be honest, I'm not too sure about the texture. I feel like because I couldn't find self raising flour, I used plain flour mm. with baking powder. You either need more baking powder or try to find self raising flour. I think a little bit more baking powder would have benefited, mm. but. Mm. But done. But I think if you're leaning on like the nuts, mm. like having that extra crunch is good. Mm. The flavors with the hot dog are there, but I still feel like it needs more sugar. Yeah, I think. Because like when you think about hot dog, it's like very warm, very inviting, mm. but like the flavors are like very mm. high. Like really when you extreme. bite into it, it's like a sugar overload. Mm. But this is more like a healthier it version. It feels like a healthier version. Yeah. Mm. Rating, what would you rate it out of five? Obviously zero would be like, I'd never want to eat this again. Five would be, I'll eat this for the rest of the week. Mm. I'd give it a 3.54. Mm. I think I'd give it three, three-ish. Mm. Three-ish, yeah. There's some improvements that can be made. Obviously, it's the first time we've cooked it today. Yeah. So based on that, I'm gonna adapt the recipe and I'll put the proper final recipe in the description box so you can try it at home. That's nice of you. Nice. Obviously, we touched a bit earlier about you're not doing boxing and stuff anymore. So what are you, what's your, what are you doing at the moment? Currently mm. teaching, mm -hmm. of course. We are wrapping up the end of the school year. The beauty of this year is our school year ends right before Christmas. So okay. I actually get to go home and surprise my family for Christmas. Only my mom knows that I'm coming. Oh my God. So okay. by now, hopefully this is out and like, it's not a secret anymore. But It'll be after she's in America, it's fine. <laughs> Other than teaching, um, I am starting my entertainer career. Entertainer career. Entertainment career here in Korea. Okay. By day, I am, you know, English teacher. Mm. And it feels like by night, I like put my cape on and I do YouTube, I'm mm. doing modeling. Uh, You're filming. doing beauty content. Yeah, beauty content, like I'm putting my face to good use, finally. <laughs> she has a beautiful face. Mm. So I feel like, I'm diversifying my content. I think the way you're going, mm. I think next year is gonna be a good year for you. As usual, I'll leave all the links you need in the description box below. And be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more Taz Buds content. And of course, check out Hunter's YouTube channel and Instagram. Uh, I'll leave everything, like I said, and join us again next time for another episode of Taz Buds. Bye. Bye. Bye.